from zoom in and zoom out support by finally having weather widgets ios 26 is now officially released on all compatible supported devices and in this video we're going to go ahead and cover all the new amazing features that you need to know about the latest version of apple carplay and of course timestamps to everything will be in the build description down below for your pleasure so first things first let's talk about the new redesign just like our iPhone, this does feature the liquid glass design, including our icons, which is fully customizable. And you have a widget tab over here as well. But one thing that everybody failed to realize is uh, taking screenshots isn't enabled by default. As soon as you download iOS 26, you cannot take screenshots. But a quick fix will resolve this if you need to. You need to grab your phone to set this up, go into settings, and then tap in the general tab. Scroll down until you find screen capture. In here, this is where you'll find a new setting now that you can enable for CarPlay screenshots. And now just do a screenshot of your phone and you see a CarPlay screenshot of that as well. You can just hit save. That's how you can take screenshots now with Apple CarPlay or you can decide to disable it. Now this next portion of the video is a repeat of this video. So if you watch this video already, you can click off because everything will pretty much be a repeat. And I appreciate you for stopping by again. But for those who haven't watched that video, Here's a quick rundown. An app that received a massive overhaul is actually the music app. You see the native music app has now been redesigned to the point where all the categories are very similar to like how it looks like on your iPhone. Here you can go to your new radio library and this is where you go in and find your downloads, your recently played songs, albums, and a new feature is now you can actually bookmark songs, albums, as well as playlists all right here on your screen. And to go ahead and do this, simply just grab your iPhone and just simply launch your music app. Click on it. Click on the house icon over here. It will take us to this new menu. And from here, click on library. And from here, you can only have a max of six. So I'm going to go ahead and remove one just for the purpose of this video. Just long hold it on the icon and hit unpin. And just like that, in real time, it actually does update right there on our devices. But if you scroll down, you go to your most recent added and just long hold and you'll see a pin or unpin playlist option. So I'm going to go ahead and add my Shazam tracks as an example. Pin comment or pin playlist. And in real time, it updates. This is how you get quicker access to your most listened songs, tracks, albums, and etc. I mean, simply click on it instead of having to go into the categories. Now, something that's overlooked is the fact that the Apple Music app now supports multi gesture controls. So I could scroll, do other stuff as I'm like literally navigating on this, as you can see right here. So that's a little hidden feature right there. Nonetheless, whenever you play a song, Apple introduced a new auto mix ability. If we hit play and we just play a song, obviously I'm not going to play this due to copyright purposes, but here you have the ability to continue like doing like your share play ability instead of disconnecting the phone. And if you'd like to have somebody else to be the DJ, they can scan that QR code and connect to CarPlay. But on this Q tab right here is where you can select between auto play or auto mix. Auto play was the default previous effect where based on the second duration you select, it will slowly transition to the next track. It's very similar to like a DJ. But using the auto mix ability, this utilizes Apple intelligence to the point where it creates these seamless smooth transitions based from the track beat. Here's a preview on how that sounds like. Super amazing. I really do enjoy this. Only available on the Apple Music though. Now other apps that also receive a massive overhaul is the native Apple podcast app. If you're listening to a podcast and we hit play, also notice how the uh, layout's also similar to Apple Music too. You have more access to like libraries, downloads, latest episodes and all that good stuff. It's easier to navigate on CarPlay. But if we select on a podcast, you have a rabbit and a turtle, right? But you can also select here to increase the speed tracks if you like to skip between different speed rates. But if you like to go even more extreme, you can now go up to like three times, as you see right there. So for some fast audio listeners, you can now go times three. Now, widget control. 
widgets is new for apple carplay and depending on the size then that your screen is you can have up to one like i do unfortunately or you can have up to three i've seen also four but here you can have widgets where you can see the weather other widgets for like apple tv even youtube search which unfortunately still doesn't do anything probably a future update will resolve that if you wish to customize these widgets you need to go on your iphone and launch the settings app in the settings app scroll down to general from here scroll down to carplay and then this layout also have been updated as now there's a blue highlight over the like speaker icon to activate wireless carplay so that's a new little change right there but back to the subject click on the carplay vehicle that you're connected to from here click on widgets and right here you have the ability to rearrange them add widgets and you'll find you'll have a plethora of widgets available including those third-party apps i was showing you about earlier but yeah down here you also have the ability to smart rotate widgets which will use apple intelligence to show you the widget that it believes you'll be more interested in widget suggestions as well as show wallpaper because if we disable this it'll just give you a black screen so if you have like the clock running as an example it gives you a much more cleaner layout if you like to blend in with your vehicle infotainment screen but yeah, you can include the wallpaper or not included. So those are some cool features you could do with the widget app now. Again, my most favorite one is probably like the fact we can now see the actual temperature outside as well as other current conditions like wind and such. Now real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could kindly take two seconds and hit that like button and like, truly appreciate those because those allow the channel to be driven by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see sponsorship segments taking like a minute or two off your time of me telling you to subscribe to like a VPN or something like that. I honestly don't like doing those type of videos without any interruptions. So, and thanks to you guys that continue hitting the like button and like, allowed the channel to be driven by you guys, not brands. So big thank you to those that took the time to actually hit that like button. Really does help out a lot. Let's carry on. So live activities is new and will pop up right underneath the media that's currently playing. So if I go and start like a live activity right now, I'm just gonna use a flight radar tracking app. In real time, it literally just created a live activity right there. And I can monitor my friend's flight as an example in case I'm picking him up. And then if I actually long hold on the live activity, I can also clear it from my device so it doesn't appear on my head unit. So you do have that ability. If you have two widgets running at the same time, you can also swipe. Now when it comes to customization, uh, we do have liquid glass, but if you like to reverse back on some of the stuff, you do have more additional customization abilities because if we go on settings and go into customize icon from here you can select between dark mode clear and it does feature dark mode for the clear glass as well as the light mode or you can settle with the default which the default actually continues to have that liquid glass design as well my personal preference but i like the dark icons this is something we've been asking for ever since like the dark icons were first released on the iPhone side of things. It's cool that we now finally have available on Apple CarPlay. Additionally, if you go into wallpapers, you also have access to new wallpapers that Apple also added, but you can always go with default black background, gray, or this light brown color. But if you look closely, you'll notice Apple did unfortunately remove some of the previous OS CarPlay wallpapers that we had available in the past and replace it all with the current design just in different color options, unfortunately. And no, we do not have the ability to import our own, which is a darn shame. Another app that also received a cool overhaul can be located in the Message app. You see the Message app now actually allows you to actually pin messages on your top, just like your Apple Music. So the pin messages you create on your iPhone on the Messenger app, long holding the contact and selecting pin, you can now pin it up here, and I believe you can pin up to six. And then since we're still talking about overhaul apps, the Apple Maps also receive a massive overhaul. You see, if you start directions, as an example, you know when you're driving, you're not sure if you're gonna make an upcoming right turn or a left-hand turn. You now have the ability to finally pinch and zoom and actually like nav view ahead of time before you actually have to decide on making that lane change to make those turns. Instead of relying on the plus and minus that we hit in the past, some vehicles like this 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor now got this new modern day feature and I have the ability to actually pinch and zoom. And pretty soon more vehicles will also have this functionality, including older cars like mine. Additionally, if you see like a hazard or something on the street, if you tap here, here, you'll see that we also got given more reports 
such as hazard, road closure, or road works. Before, we only had traffic and speed trap and crash. Now we actually have more things to report on. And then if you use the uh, new keyboard, keyboard also got redesigned as well for Apple CarPlay. Also features the uh, liquid glass. And pretty soon, the pinch and zoom functionality should also work on third-party apps like Google and Waze. Now, notifications also being tweaked a bit as well. Because let's say, for example, I have navigation running, right? Start. If an incoming call comes in, notice how it's no longer going to take up the entire screen. And it also continues to feature the liquid glass design. So now when you have navigation running, it doesn't take up the entire screen. You can still see where you're heading. Additionally, if you go back to this menu, this is how the new UI looks like when you're on an incoming call. But regardless on what section of the app you're in, if you like to go back to the old school page, you can always tap right there and it'll bring you back to this old layout that we're all used to from previous car plays. So that's a cool little update right there. Additionally, your notifications are also updated as well. Now this is how they look like whenever you receive one. And you also have the tap ability. So when you click on a message, it'll read out the message. But you now have a back tap support right here where you can actually reply with a reaction like you can with your iPhone. So you can now like things, ha ha it, or question it, just like that. Additionally, if you have announced messages enabled, if you go into your settings and go announce messages, you can now enable it right there, which also features a new updated animation for your on and off toggle. But by having this enabled, whenever you receive a new message and you click on it, Mark said, a new updated like bell icon will appear where you can quickly disable it or enable auto announce messages. But it's all personal preference. I prefer, personally prefer having that off. Now, back in the settings app in CarPlay, if you scroll down, I highly recommend going to the display and enable smart zoom. By having smart zoom enabled, it will reset your screen, but if we disable it, notice how the text and stuff just doesn't really fit very well in your vehicle. But if you're hard at seeing, I would recommend having that off because some of your icons are going to be larger, which in a sense will make like tapping and interacting with your car play a lot easier. But for a more elegant look, enable smart zoom, which will optimize the text, the app size and everything for your vehicle head unit. Since all vehicle head units are different, that's a cool little automated feature that it now has. Another safety feature that was added in the settings app can be located if you go into accessibility and if you go into sound recognition. If you have sound recognition enabled, you now have a baby alert notification now. So if you have a baby in the back and it's crying, a notification will pop up alerting you that yes, your baby is indeed uh, crying where previously we had siren and horn so now we actually have babies and then whenever you connect to carplay you may have noticed that the carplay screen is also updated the carplay icon is slightly smaller with the carplay text right underneath so that's been slightly updated as well now in terms of the uh, capability to actually airplay video onto your vehicle head unit when your car is parked so we did get more information about this it's compatible however it's up to the automaker as this does require an apple certification from the automaker mfi certification from apple i'm not entirely sure how this exactly works but to my knowledge it does require the brand to pay like some type of royalty fee to the manufacturer so depending on the automaker some automakers may sooner or later enable this so whenever you're at park utilizing your iphone sensors if you play like a youtube video on your phone as an example like this workout video soon you'll have the ability to simply tap the cast icon and then just go ahead and select airplay and then select carplay and then once the video is playing you should be able to go into the now play section and you'll be able to watch your youtube videos right there but for ford unfortunately Ford doesn't look like it's going to have this feature yet, at least upon making this video. Maybe in the near future, we finally have that ability. But allegedly, CarPlay streaming support is available on iOS 26. It's just a matter of time until automakers start enabling it on their side. And there you guys have it. Now you know everything new on the Apple CarPlay side of things. So thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to watch more, maybe you'd like to see a more in-depth tour on what's new on the Apple Watch side of things, I cover that in greater detail over there. Because aside from the new watch face that we got, there's actually a lot more cool stuff that the Apple Watch has. So I highly recommend checking out that video over there for WatchOS 26. Thank you so much for watching.